on your fingertips, you can feel the centers of other person. If something is fishy, you can feel it. If somebody is cheating you, you can feel it. Everything, your fingers speak. This is what Muhammad Sahib has said, at the time of resurrection, your hands will speak clearly. How can hands speak? This is how, because all these five fingers are the centers, sixth and seventh center. One on the physical side, another on the physical and also mental side is the right side and the emotional side on the left side. These are two different systems within us which people are not understanding that there are two channels within us, what we call as the <coughs> autonomous nervous system has got parasympathetic nervous system in the center but there are two left and right sympathetic nervous systems and these are the system, two systems that are enlightened on your fingertips by which you know exactly what is wrong with you, what centers you are catching, that is self-knowledge. People will go mad but they will not know they are getting mad. They will have cancer, they will not know they are having cancer. This indication tells you exactly what's wrong with you. Now, if you know how to correct your centers, you can correct the centers of others also. Then also, this another achievement is that you become collectively conscious, means you can feel others on your fingertips. You can feel others on your fingertips. Who is the other? That's what we think but nobody is the other. We are part and parcel of one spiritual personality. And once somebody has problem, we immediately know there's a problem. Because on the fingertips you can feel it. This is true knowledge, it's not some sort of reading a book or some sort of a thing, but it's a true knowledge within yourself, which you know yourself, which we call as cognitive science which works within yourself. You don't have to go out to read anything, to understand anything. Your own being itself is a complete computer, I should say, which tells you what's what, who is what. We have no idea as to what we are. We have not been given any idea as to what potential we are. It's tremendous it is. It is tremendous and if it works, it will work for you, for your family, for your children, for your city, for your nation and for the whole world. So this has to become a collective understanding within yourself, not mentally. Mental understanding is just temporary and passes on. But it's an actualization again and again I say, it's the actualization of the knowledge within yourself. Then they talk only of that. <coughs> they talk in the words of chakras, of the centers. That person is this, that person has got this, I have got these. Now people on your fingertips, which gives you a perfect answer for everything. Then it looks after you. It protects you, it guides you, as I told you, and guides you in the right way, in the right way, manner. And how it achieves things is wonderful. So we have to first and foremost understand that we have to have that special personality of a self-realized personality which will really help and care for others. It's not just talking, it's not just reading, it's not just following some uh, false guru, but it is following yourself, which is to show that you are your own master. You become your master and you know everything about everything. This is the potential in all of you. As I said, it is not only for few people, it's not for only black-white people, but it's also meant for people who are uneducated, who are living in the villages, who are very simple people, 
it works for all of them and when it works you'll be amazed how it transforms you and transforms others. And you become so confident about yourself. You don't doubt yourself because there's an absolute knowledge on your fingertips. It is something that is within you which you should achieve. Of course, for this you should know that so far you have not known, so you have to know. As long as you have this attitude, it would work out. I cannot force, Sahaja Yoga cannot force on anyone self-realization, cannot be forced. It has to be asked for. Unless and until you knock the door, it won't work out. It works out for people only who really want it and who want to become self-realized. As a result, you don't have any responsibilities. It's only the responsibility of the all-pervading power that does everything for you, that looks after you, that <coughs> guides you and takes you to the right places, to the right situations, and guides you in such a manner that you are amazed. How is it? How is it working? How is it working out? There will be no meaning left to any miracles, but these miracles are not like taking out a diamond and thing like that, but it's a miracle how the circumstances will change, how people will change, how you'll become such a joyous, lovable personality. On this subject, I don't know how many lectures I've given and there's no end to it. But I would say that you should take your Realization and go into our programs, whatever they have, and grow into it because you take some time to grow like a seed sprouts but it takes time to become a tree. But hardly one month at the most and don't have to pay there also, again I'll tell you, nothing has to be paid, you just give some time to yourself and it will work out. When you have mastered it, you'll be amazed what you can do, a month at the most. Some people just get it and they don't have to do anything, just they know, but most of the people have to do it. It improves everything, your thinking capacity, in the sense your brains get enlightened. You become a very large-hearted personality and other things that we think of, of prosperity and all that, all comes through. This I'm just telling you, like a mother would like to give a castor oil with little chocolate on top. But main thing is you must know yourself how great you are. That is what every mother wants her child to know. That's my only desire is in America if it spreads. In that manner, it will all be a great thing, a great boon for the whole world. May God bless you.